That vegan teacher is a very interesting specimen. She is someone who, despite being constantly criticized and exposed as being a terrible person, has still managed to maintain somewhat of an audience. I mean, if we take a look at her channel, there are still people who watch her videos, even though she's way beyond relevant. So today, we are going to react to a recent video that the vegan teacher made called Mr. Beast Gaming Pretends to be Generous but Pays for Rape to Kid a murder, which makes him sound like the leader of some kind of mafia cartel. I think the like-dislike ratio really says everything I have to know about this video. The sponsor of this video is Dairy. Is Dairy. Is Dairy. This is the face of an animal abuser. This is Mr. Beast. I find it hilarious that the vegan teacher is calling Mr. Beast the face of animal abuse, even though the only thing that he did was promote a dairy company. Like, he's not actually going to farms and killing cows, pigs, and chickens. Like, he's just promoting a company. Like, man, the vegan teacher is really trying to milk it. In this particular video, he's being sponsored by the dairy industry. He got $50,000 from them. 50000 is not what the company that he's promoting paid him. It's what he was actually giving away to his fans in this video. I have 100 Minecraft players here and 100 plots of land. And whoever creates the best farm wins $50,000. Five zero? Wait, Jimmy, why a farm? Because the sponsor of this video is Dairy. You tried to manipulate us into thinking that you were right. But once again, the internet has clapped back and has proven that you are nothing but a scumbag. Mr. Beast, do you actually know what goes on in the dairy industry? Or have you been so sheltered that you are truly naive? Mr. Beast is 23 years old, so he definitely does know what happens in the dairy industry. But the truth is that he doesn't care. And I also don't care because this industry provides millions of people across the world with food. And, you know, it's bad, of course, what happens to animals in this industry, but welcome to the food chain. In the dairy industry, they strap down bulls, majestic creatures. They tie them up. They rub them inappropriately. They steal their sperm. That's bestiality. So now the vegan teacher is accusing the dairy industry of committing bestiality. Oh well, okay. What's bestiality again? Full definition of bestiality. Sexual relations between a human being and a lower animal. I, I don't think that's what happens in the dairy industry, vegan teacher. I don't think people in the, in the dairy industry go up to animals and have sex with them. It's just not what happens. I mean, the only thing they do is they take their sperm so that they can put it in the females so that they can have babies. It's just, it's not the same as having sex with an animal. I'm not going to show you the rest of this part because I'm pretty sure YouTube is going to take down my channel in an instant. But basically, she's just once again trying to guilt trip us into giving up meat by describing what happens in these meat factories. To which I say, I'm sorry, but that's how the food chain works. Listen, if you see a lion eating a deer, are you going to go up to it and say, if you don't stop eating meat, I'm going to cancel you on Twitter. And do you know what, what that lion would do? He would eat you alive because the lion doesn't care. Because for the lion to live, it needs to survive. And the only way to, for it to survive is to eat meat. I'm sorry, but welcome to the world. You are the one who's being naive here, not Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, do you know what happened in World War II to the Jews? They were also kidnapped, imprisoned, and then put into gas chambers for having committed no crimes. The Holocaust never ended for the animals, Mr. Beast. I am actually shocked that the vegan teacher decided to once again compare the dairy industry to the Holocaust. It's an absolutely like disgusting comparison because listen, 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 killing animals and allowing them to be eaten by hardworking people is not the same thing as the Nazis taking people that didn't like, such as Jews, and putting them in the gas chambers. It's not the same. One, you know, is feeding people. The other one was done by absolute psychopaths believing that they were purifying the earth. It's just not the same. Are you sick in the head, vegan teacher? You can't compare the dairy industry to the Holocaust. They are not on the same level. Do you hear me? Holocaust and dairy industry are not on the same level. Can you please stop making this fucking comparison Jesus Christ I also find it hilarious how the vegan teacher acts as if she has the moral high ground in this situation even though the truth is that Mr. Beast has done way 
way more for people and for the environment than the vegan teacher ever will. And I mean, you don't have to look further than the comments of this video. He helped more people than you. He helped homeless people and others who are actually trying to make a difference. All you do is complain at people, but have you actually went to farms or donated to places that support helping animals? He helped miserable people and he planted millions of plants while you helped nobody. Leave him alone, he has helped so many people. All you do is upset everyone. So what's the conclusion of this video? Well, it's that you can have freedom of speech, but you can't control my pantry. So to celebrate, I am gonna order myself some fried chicken. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and like and comment and also share potentially. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Disco, 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 disco. Disco, 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 disco.